Hey there, thanks for stopping by this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to create a really basic, simple plugin uh, to create um, or add your own patterns to your Gutenberg experience. So first of all, let's just go over what patterns are and why they're um, beneficial over reusable blocks. So when you're in the Gutenberg editor um, and you press on that little blue plus icon up in the top and then you can see this um, column here called patterns and you get a whole bunch of um, patterns that appear now these all depend on the theme that you've got installed so in my case I've got the green shift theme so um, what is shipped with the green green shift theme has uh, its own patterns or block patterns. So you can come in here and go, um, okay, I want a hero. Um, or let's go to wireframes. Um, and then it will show you all the, um, the patterns here. All right? And so you go, okay, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna add that. And then, uh, yep, I'm gonna need, actually I might go to some parts. Um, and I might, uh, okay, that's not really what I want. Let's go to elements. Um, okay, let's add that in. So then you can see that it's now just popping those in. Let's go to general. Um, uh, yeah, let's add a pricing table. So you can kind of see what I mean. So they're just, they're just dropping those patterns directly into the editor. Go to list view and there they are just sitting in the editor um, and they're really easy to add that right so now these are theme dependent as I said so but what if we could actually create our own plugin that has our own patterns uh, and it's not dependent on a theme it's just in a plugin and uh, we build it ourselves um, we can build it either for our clients who can use say if you've got um, specific patterns that they use maybe like a, um, a common page template as a pattern, you could do that. Um, so then it just makes your, uh, your clients, um, makes it easier for them to add patterns to their websites to then continue building on that. So uh, the other um, benefit is that they come straight in. So, um, so there are, there's also uh, reusable blocks as well. So if we go ahead and if I just go and uh, create a reusable block, block here and call this um, section one, for example, call it whatever you want. Uh, so that kind of does the same thing, but it um, it is only specific to the website that you're working on. It doesn't really put it anywhere other than into the reusable block section, which you then can download as a JSON file, and then you can import that into another website, right? So, um, so that's fine as well. I mean, uh, that's okay. But one little caveat around that is that when you want to add, um, so now I've got a reusable block here that's sitting here. And if I go and add that, uh, so that's now added it um, to here. So, um, but you, but you have to remember and your client has to remember to um, un or convert this back to regular blocks again because if they put this a block on another page and they update one block then it's going to update on the other page and it's just going to cause um, some hassle so the beautiful thing about patterns is that it's it's not reliant on the block patterns that's uh, sorry the block uh, the reusable blocks uh, it's just basically a pattern that's sitting that, that exists uh, in the system and in in the patterns area that you can then just go and add you know just just bang straight in it's just really easy you don't have to worry about converting it back to regular blocks um, and you can create you know specific block patterns for your client as I just said um, or even just for yourself if you're developing websites commonly and you're wanting to use the same templates uh, over and over again you can build your own plugin uh, to do that. So the hope of this video is to actually, well, uh, I'm gonna actually show you how to build 
that plugin, how to add your own categories um, that show up in the patterns here so you can then categorize your block patterns under uh, your own categories. Um, and then uh, and then I'll show you just exactly what I mean by that. So, so I'm going to clear um, I'm going to clear this page just to have a fresh start again. Cool. Okay. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add to these patterns. We're going to create a, as I said, a plugin which adds uh, uh, extra um, categories and um, extra blocks to or patterns to that that category, and then it's dependent on a plugin, not dependent on the theme. So you can just install the plugin, build the site out with your um, particular uh, patterns that you need, and then you can take it out once the website's built. So pretty cool, huh? And this is something that I have been working on for a bit. Um, just a bit of a um, bit of a plug here. So over at my um, gstemplates.com website, that I'm sort of, uh, which is the Gutenberg starter templates website. Um, so all these patterns here you can download as a JSON file, but you have to then upload those and then through the process of you know going through the reusable blocks and it just gets a pain in the butt. So um, now what I've done is I've taken that a step further to then create these wireframes. So then all you have to do is just copy this code here, like directly into a page, like, like so, and it builds out, you know, that section right there without you having to do anything, right? So, but what I'm going to do, um, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to actually package all these, like every single template on this website that I've got so far into a plugin. Uh, and then sell that plugin on this website so then people can just come in, buy the plugin, install that plugin on their website, and then they have full access to all these uh, templates, all these patterns, just ready to go. Um, and I'll also be updating that plugin as well on a regular basis with new new patterns. So it's just this is going to be awesome. Um, and then you know I'm going to progress to other other things like building a cloud library and stuff like that but that's a little bit further down the track so um so yeah so let's get let's get cracking into this this um this building this well it's basically coding out a plugin right so um so um uh okay so i'm using visual studio um code as my uh visual studio code as my um builder for this plugin. Okay, so now we're going to create a file um, called uh, block patterns.php. First thing we're going to have to add is the, um, it's a PHP file, so we need to add the um, PHP code at the top here, just to say, yep, this is definitely a PHP file. So that's the starting point. Now, okay, we need to now go get the header for the um, for this plugin for the header requirement. So I'm going to go to the WordPress.org um, plugin handbook, plugin basics, and this is kind of all you need, really, uh, as a minimum to uh, register your plugin. But I'm going to add a little bit more info, uh, like um, maybe I will grab. Uh, actually, I'll just copy that, and then I'll paste that in there. Uh, now I'm going to bring this back. It's flush. Okay, so this one is going to be called. It's the plugin is going to be called Block Pattern, or Block Patterns, I should say. Uh, this is going to be called Adds Block Patterns to block editor uh, version number is going to be 1.0 um, I am going to remove this I'm going to just put author uh, WP genie for slash GS templates um, 
website address, wpgenie.com. Um, I'll keep that all the same. The text domain is going to be just block hyphen patterns. And I'm going to get rid of this one, the main path. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to just save that there. I'm going to go to my development website now. Uh, now I'm going to just refresh this. So there you can see I've got now the block patterns um, plugin here. So I'm going to activate that. And that's causing no issues being activated. So we're uh, off to a good start here. Okay, so now that we've got the header requirements in, we can uh, drop that. So the next thing I add to the, so essentially this is just going to be one file, right? I'm not going to have any other files. We could add another folder to have an includes folder and stuff like that, and add the patterns into another folder into another file. But I'm just going to keep this all in one one file. So it's just really simple, right? So you just update one file. That's it. Um, okay, so. Coming back to the, uh, now there is a bit of code here that I um, have discovered that uh, it's good practice to put in so that um, it basically, uh, if somebody's trying to act, add, uh, get access to the plugin um, directly to the file base of the plugin, then they are kicked out. And basically this bit of code here does that. So I'm just gonna copy that post that right there. Cool, so it's a, just a little bit of security, plugin security, uh, which is good practice for uh, plugin development. So I'm gonna just drop that. So this is, um, uh, I'll put all the links in the description below for all of these as well. So you can just go and copy all this paste, copy this code. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to register um, the block pattern categories. So, over on the documentation for um, register block pattern category uh, on the developer resources for WordPress, um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see this bit of code here. And I'm just going to copy that code. I'm just going to go and paste this in here like so. So that's our function. It's a function to create um, So this um, creates block pattern categories. I always like to comment my uh, comment on my code, so then it's just easier to um, come back to later. So essentially, what this code is, I'll just break this down over here. So I just put it all in one line. So um, this is the name of the pattern. In um, in namespace in a um, low case, then we've got a, la a label, uh, and then we've got the actual pattern name here. So I'm going to just so just to quickly go through this, so I'm going to call this block patterns hero, um, and then label, and this is just going to be called block patterns hero. Now the reason why I've named it that is because there's other block patterns in the library, as you saw before, that GreenShift created, the theme created. So I want to be able to just, and you can just name, um, change the name of your branding to just have block patterns as something else. So it could be my patterns or something like that. So it just differentiates between the patterns uh, category that are already there in existence. So just hopefully that makes sense. So, um, and then this one here is going to be um, uh, columns. And I'm just going to call this columns. And the third one, I'm going to call it um, block patterns features. And then I'm going to change this to features. Okay, so that's all we need for to register a block category. So if you just want to add more, then you just just copy as you saw, copy and paste, uh, and keep going. Okay, so the final bit of code that we're going to be adding, or actually not the final, but 
the build out for the um, the patterns themselves um, we go to the uh, register block pattern documentation on WordPress and we scroll all the way down the bottom and here is um, some examples down below here this is the uh, the very the, the best one I, I found at the very bottom here so I'm going to copy this I'm going to go in and I'm going to paste that there okay and again I'm going to comment this out so create block pattern categories and I'll just call this register block patterns so okay so this is um, fairly straightforward what I might do is I might just clear this out I don't need that and you can have keywords if you want but I'm not going to have them in there um, you can if you want if you want uh, people to be able to search through so just um, so basically this function just registers block a block pattern uh, so with the register block pattern uh, function and then we need to change a few things here so this one this so this this particular um, uh, so basically from um, here to here so that um, registers so this is basically block uh, registers one um, one pattern right so and then we can add more patterns underneath and I'll show you how to do that so here let's just uh, update our namespace to block patterns and then this is going to be the name of the pattern so this is um, block patterns and let's just call this hero uh, hero one okay so this is the first hero block pattern that we're going to be adding and then of course we're going to go in here and we just call this hero one right because we might have multiple heroes we might have um, you know more than one hero uh, um, block pattern so we want to have you know a list of block heroes uh, or hero blocks I should say now this is the description you can put in the description of the um, uh, you know um, of the pattern here so um, um, I think I also need to actually update this where it says text domain we need to actually change this to the proper namespace um, just like what we have up here in the text domain so I'm just going to quickly change these cool and then we're going to do the same here and um, yeah so essentially this is just the description of the block you don't have to have that if you don't want um, so um, you can have it and you can explore that but I'm just going to um, I'm just going to remove the description so we've just got the title we've got the hero one and then we've got the content cool now um, as you can see here if I just um, if I just save that and I go to the um, demo site over here and I go to a page got the block platter, um, block patterns so I'll just show you what uh, what's what's happening so far so I'll come into a new editor or the block patterns page I'll go to the plus icon go to patterns and you'll see um, Ah, you'll see text here okay so the, uh, this is what I've missed here so see how I've got text here under categories what I need to do is I need to put this one here okay so let's do that and then we'll go back to the page we'll refresh and that text there should now change to our block patterns hero and there is the pattern which is basically just mimicking what is in here which is the um, the code for a single paragraph block 
Okay, so we now know that it's all working, um, which is beautiful, right? Okay, now uh, let's now create an add, well, let's just add some um, patterns in here. So what I'll do is I'll go to GS templates. This is the, pretty much the quickest way to do this. Um, and I'll go down to wireframe and I'll go to heroes. Let's go and um, let's just copy the code on this one here and um, paste this over here like so. Um, so, okay, so you build out your template or your, so your pattern first here in the editor. Okay, so just like what I've done here, I did it really quickly. Actually, I should just do it. Um, let's build something out. Now I'm using the GreenShift plugin, so, um, and uh, I just put it in ad um, not advanced text, didn't want that. I wanted advanced heading. This is a heading, and then let's put down below that. Um, I'm just going to just use the normal text. This is a brief description of some text. Cool. Then underneath here, I'm going to put a button. Uh, I could use um, the standard Gutenberg button, or but I'll just use the um, CTA button. All right, and then over here, I will put in an image. Um, okay, let's just put it um, actually more like that. Cool. And then I'm just going to align the content to the center here like this. Sweet. And what I might also do is put a um, because this is this is a hero, right? So this could be at the bottom, at the top of the page. Um, so uh, let's um, put a slight background color to this. It kind of just stands out a little bit. Um, just zero out this column padding so it's just flush and um, yeah okay I'm happy with that All right so you built out your basic pattern right so this is this is hero one right so now what do we need to do to get this into our code to replace this under the content section so what we first need to do is we need to now go into look at this in the HTML code view. So we'll go up to the three little dots up in the top right hand corner, go to the code editor, and we're going to select all this and we're going to copy that. Now, there is one step we need to do before we add the uh, this to this. So we need to go and escape this code, which basically just clears out all the the, the spacing, right? So it just concatenate, concatenate, like just, just, yeah, just takes out of the space, right? So the best thing, uh, the best tool here is to go to JSON um, formatter.org forward slash JSON escape. Again, all the links to everything is going to be in the description below, so you can just go through the through the flow, right? Um, okay, so you would copy your um, your code that you just got from the block pattern and then you just click on escape right easy and then uh, you would um, uh, I think you need to uh, select it all and then you just click that little copy then come back into your code and just get rid of that and paste and of course it's going to go for a bit of a bit of a long time but um, so that's fine. That's just that's one um, block. Okay, so let's go see this magic in uh, in real life. So I've added that. So let's go back to our website now, and I'll go back into our visual editor, and I'll delete this. It's like, oh no, I've lost it. Uh, I'll update the page so it's new. I'll refresh the page so it refreshes the uh, the patterns, and I'll go in here now. Go to patterns, 
go down to our block patterns hero category and uh, then we've got a problem <laughs> All right so um, now I've noticed that this happens um, from time to time on this uh, so I think I'm going to go up to view and go down to word wrap and I'll save it again um, so I'll just add a space and remove um, I have noticed this in, in some editors and I'll come back to this uh, oh actually it could be I know what it is it could be the code itself because it's not 100% um, yeah it's breaking okay I know what the problem is so what we need to do so we have to wrap this content in quotation marks rather than these single um, so yeah that's just a little gotcha right so just go you just got to wrap that little quotation mark in to the new uh, yeah um, into double quotation marks okay I'll save that now and we'll go back to the um, editor I'll just refresh that and go to our patterns go down to block history and there it is cool huh and so you can see how fast that you can just build out um, uh, block patterns okay so the next pattern that we're going to create um, is the columns right I mean the header that hero was kind of a column but um, let's just go and quickly build out a two column structure here so let's go and grab an image and let's go at this image here and um, I will copy that block and paste it in there as well insert after I'll put advanced heading I'll call this um, column one Oops. and I'll center align that and then I want to duplicate and then drag that across um, then I want to add some paragraph text in here some paragraph text here and I'm just gonna duplicate that as well um, keyboard shortcuts really help out here uh, and then I'm gonna add a button so just you know I'm gonna center align that call this um, learn more and I will just duplicate that as well so duplicate is uh, shift command D on a uh, on a Mac so these shortcuts really help and then you would um, just leave the links you won't link them anyway because this is a block pattern right so um, and let's say that I want to add a background color to these columns um, Actually, again, I'll just use this just to make it look a little bit fancy. And I'll go to row settings and create a little bit of, uh, of a gap there. Um, now, I will put a border as well on these because, you know, I'm not a border, a uh, um, uh, shadow. Just to make it um, sort of pop a little bit. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, we'll go to this column and actually I'll show you that we can just go and copy the style and paste the style for the other column. Okay, cool. So there's our column block. So we got to, again, go to a code editor, copy all that, um, come down to our JSON, so we'll clear these. There's a escape and then we'll escape that. Now the first thing we need to do is we now need to um, register a new block pattern okay so we've got to get this code here and so before that closing remark we want to keep it within the same function right so we'll, uh, we'll go down a couple here and then we'll just paste 
that new code. So then what we want to do is we want to just remove this from here. Oops, I removed it from the wrong the wrong one. <laughs> uh, so let me just go and remove that from there. And this is going to be a column. So I've got to change the category to block patterns column to match. Actually up there I've got to, it's, got, it's actually columns, not column. So it's going to match what I've got up here in the block category. Cool. Okay, so now, and then we're going to change the um, column, uh, column one, let's just say. Okay, so now I can go back to our escaped JSON. I can copy that back to our uh, code editor and then paste that in there. Cool, huh? Now I'll save that. Go back to our um, editor here and we'll go and uh, go to visual. I'll delete that out of there, I'll update. Oh no, I've uh, lost it, have I? Not really. Uh, no, it's sitting now in my patterns. So I go to the patterns again, and now you will see uh, block patterns columns here. Ah. But now, um, as you notice, our block patterns heroes has gone. Now, why is that? Uh, oh, yeah, I know why. See, this is <laughs> this is why you watch these videos because you can see developers like me <laughs> that I'm not really a developer uh, make mistakes. So, we've got to change the uh, register pattern, uh, the, the pattern um, here as well. So, this one's got to be column one. <laughs> Yeah, so it's got to basically match the uh, the new title here. So because I had hero one up here already declared, and then I declared it again, it basically said, okay, I'm just going to replace this one here with the new one that I've got. Um, so that will fix it now. So let's go and refresh the page. Go back into our patterns, and now you'll see block patterns hero, block patterns column. So I can go and add the uh, Hero, and now I can go and add my columns uh, block in there. And um, yeah, it's interesting how it adds it to the um, to the top there. So the best thing the best thing to probably do is to go in and. Um, Go to patterns, go to uh, block shift hero, come down here, um, click in the new line there, and then go back to patterns and then go to columns. And then you can sort of see, uh, see it building down, then you go to the next one, browse patterns. And then you can just keep adding whatever you want. Right. So, okay, so the last the section I'm going to create is the featured sections. So um, uh, I'm going to go a full column on here. I'm going to go an advanced heading. So features one. Let's call that features one. Under that, I'm going to have a bit of text. So um, some. Fancy description text here. I'm going to center align that. Now I'm going to add in another row and just do a three row here. This one's going to be an icon box. So let's uh, choose the and I'll write that in there. Um, and underneath this is I'm going to put advanced heading. It's going to be H4. Now say feature one. Cool. Now I'll just make this really quick. I'll just go in and duplicate these column three times, a couple of times. Get rid of it. I will remove these columns because I don't need them. And I just need to go and change the. 
feature two, feature three. Um, so you're starting to get the point here, right? Um, and uh, and then essentially that's all I'm going to do for that, right? Um, so now we need to go and get the code editor for this. So I'll just uh, copy that. And we'll go into our um, our escaping right there. We'll escape that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our code um, editor here and we just copy, paste that uh, right there. Now we need to change this to our feature slash one. And oh, by the way, you can also um, comment stuff out here. So let's just say, yeah, you want to group all your. Um, so you go hero block patterns. And um, let's just say this one here, I want to go uh, column block patterns. And this one down here, I want to uh, call this features, features block patterns. So when you want to add a new, say another hero, um, Another bit of spacing down there as well. Um, so when you want to go and add another hero pattern, you just basically copy um, this and then just paste it underneath. Now, of course, you've got to uh, make sure you change this to say two. Uh, if it's going to be hero two, hero style two or whatever, um, and then you know keep keep sort of going down the um, down the list so you know um, you might want to add another hero section or another hero um, and call that hero 3 go change that to hero 3 and then um, paste in the content into that and then you would do the same with the column structures so you put that under the columns um, Make sure you um, change this, really important, to column number two, for example. So that's coming off column number one there. And then you'll be changing this to column number two. Um, you get what, I, what I'm doing here, right? So, and then obviously to um, add another feature, another feature, um, so you put feature one there, uh, sorry, feature two. And then you go update this to feature two, and then you put in the code for the feature two section, right? So, um, okay, so I think I need to remove this, right? And then I've got to go back to the code over here and copy that. And now I need to, now I need to actually update this to featured one or feature one and paste that in there like that. Cool, all right, now um, I can save that file. So now what we should have is, um, ah, there's one thing I didn't do. Um, something is really important. So it's gotta make, you gotta make sure that you got the categories right here too. So under the category uh, array, so when you go down to, um, so see how here I've got hero, that's got to be column, right? Uh, or oh, sorry, columns. So it's got to match the category array because otherwise, that's this that one was going to sit in the hero section, or this one was going to sit in the hero. So we got to change this here to um, uh, sorry, this one here to feature. Um, I think it's called features. I think we called it features. Yes. So block patterns of features. So really important to remember that as well so we're going to change that to features oops and then uh, you would put in um, so yeah just got that's going to be the category that this uh, block pattern is going to sit in okay so let's go and uh, save that file now go back to my editor and i will uh, i'll clear this actually and we'll go back to our 
visual editor and I'll update the page and I'll refresh. So now I should have three categories. So I've got block patterns hero with my block pattern in there, block patterns column so we're with my columns structure and block patterns features that are in there or well, one is one in there so far feature one. So now we can go and add this and then again we go to um, go to browse patterns. Um, let's add in the features right. Um, go down here again, we'll click on browse all and then we'll go to block town and columns. And then there we go. And then of course you will probably want to put in a bit of margin. Now of course if you're um, wanting to have margins and spacing and stuff you would then build this into the, 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 uh, the block that you're building. Um, so then you, you don't have to add the uh, margins to it. So. Uh, now I'm going to update that and I'm going to go view the page on the front end and look at that. We've got our uh, patterns all nicely there. So that's it. That's that's just how you um, uh, that's that's how you add, uh, create a plugin that you can then add in your own block patterns. That's completely independent and not dependent on a theme uh, but it's put into your own plugin and this is all it is just one file uh, and you can see here that I've made a few mistakes so I'm not perfect um, I've noticed that this is a bit weird as well so I'll update that um, but it still didn't break anything right so that's fine and um, so that's pretty much it um, so I hope that's helped. Uh, I'm sure it will. So go ahead, create your own block patterns library and create a plugin. And then when you're working on the next client project or, uh, or to give to your clients um, the ability for them to just load in patterns, build out pages um, automatically or, you know, uh, t entire sections or, um, or pages. You can do this with this plugin uh, and you've developed it all yourself which is pretty amazing um, so I was pretty stoked that I could do this because I'm not really a coder at all uh, but I learned how to do it right I just went and followed a few people on YouTube and um, and credit where credit is due um, there's a few people that I followed on YouTube that, that really gave me the ins and outs of this and um, uh, and I just want to say thanks to those guys. I can't remember who they were. I apologize um, But yeah, it it really is an amazing space. Um, so Good luck with your block pattern um, plugin um, And uh, you know leave a comment below. Let me know what you think uh, you know like and share this video and um, you know share it with your friends and um, yeah, again comment below Tell me how this has helped you save bundles of time with your development um, and, and given that extra value to your clients as well. Uh, love to hear your feedback. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.